Well, Lou and I are up at the cabin, as per usual. Come up here about every day, and I walk in my front door and look what I see. Now, my dilemma is, how did that get here? This is upstairs in my loft. It, these are one of those good totes, hard plastic. But as you can see, it fell with enough force, broke. I don't know if the lid broke or not. Let's take a look here. Yep, right there on that corner. She broke. So this thing is just full of my bedding for my cot. So when I want to stay up here, I kept it all tucked away. I don't want the mice getting in it, squirrels getting in it, whatever kind of animal it might come into my building. So let me zoom up. Right there is where that came from. Right up there in that big old hole. Something shoved this guy off. And this is where it landed. Now I don't know if there's a cat in here. The cat maybe spent the night in here. Because we were up here all day yesterday. Normally I don't have a lot of cats hang around here because Blue's here. So this is a mystery. How'd that fall? And why did it fall? I may never know. I don't think the cabin haunted. It can't be. Right? Or can it? Well, maybe we'll find out what happened and maybe we won't. Just thought I'd give you a heads up, folks. As the mystery continues. Well, it's spring here in Oregon, and this is a maple tree. I don't know if I can get any closer on that or not. There we go. Isn't that a beautiful thing? When you see these trees budding and getting ready to bloom of course a lot of you people are probably allergic to pollen I actually have hay fever myself uh,
Okay, got the Inspector General out here. Blue, of course. He's my Inspector General. He's checking out my fire pit. I don't like the back wall 100%, but it's a start. I think I actually ran out of rock. I think the front is sort of okay. I wish Jacob was here to help assist with this because he's kind of natural with these rocks. He just seems to know where everything should go and how it should fit. So anyway, here it is guys. I got places down front, nice and flat, big. I want to put a coffee pot up here next to the fire, keep it warm I can. That's the plan. Blue, what do you think bud? We did okay bud? And you're okay. Camera's rolling. Here we go. I'd like to thank everybody for being here for my video. And we just finished the pit for the rebirth of the fire pit. Got a bunch of new flat rock here all across the front that we kind of put in. A few more along the back, trying to build this up for a good windbreak. And it'd be a great place to put your hot dog stand behind the old rock wall. And we won't burn up that way. So, with that being said, guys, I want to say adios, and we'll see you on the next one. Oh yeah, live your life carefully, would ya? How come nobody's cutting? Cut. Somebody cut. Would somebody wrap this up? Take 42. Alright guys, fire pits lined up and it's working so adios.